Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm out for a walk in the beautiful Bulkley Hill Woods in Cheshire. This is a woodland owned by the National Trust. I'm down the bottom of the woodland. There's a very steep escarpment that goes off up there, which we're going to go and have a look at in a minute. But the main purpose of today's video is to explore an old railway line. Now this railway, it's a narrow gauge railway and the track still exists which makes it even more exciting. It's not a very long railway, it was built as part of the pumping station nearby for a surge reservoir to bring components up and down the hill. Now just behind me here we have five steam engine boilers. Now these boilers were from textile mills in Manchester and they were bought here not to be used as steam engine boilers but for use as fuel tanks to power the pumping station. So we've got five of them there. It's really nice, you know, they're obviously not in use now, but they're, they're still here for everyone to see. So just um, behind the trees there is the pumping station, but it's what's along here that's exciting, this railway line we're gonna go and have a look at. So as I said, it was built as part of the reservoir to um, bring components up and down the hill. The hill is hard to convey from here, but in a moment you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It is a very steep hill and um, it feels like, you know, you, you really are going up at a, quite a gradient. I'd say probably at least one in one. So we'll find out in a moment. But as we come along here, along this really nice, you know, breezy path, you sort of wouldn't think that we could be about to tackle such a steep incline. So as we come along here, the pumping station is now literally just behind those trees and in a moment's time I'll be able to show you what's left of this little railway that the main purpose of today's video is about. So if you just pick up to here you can see there's a fence coming up now, there's a gap in the fence. That's where the railway ran so obviously the fence is a lot newer than the railway but we're going to go through that gap and um, we're going to go and have a look at the beginning of the track. So we just get to here. There you go. There's rails there, and if we turn round, you can see the railway line stretching up the hill. But let's go in here first and have a look at the lower part. So there's bits of track missing, but look, I'm actually standing on the rails now. Um, it's not so obvious here because we've got all these trees which are growing through it. And um, if we just come down this little bit here, get a bit windy. there we go. There's our first decent view of some railway track. Now the, already this is quite a gradient. An all, a steam loco probably wouldn't climb up this. Well, it, it probably could, but it'd have to work hard. But what the gradient you see now, which you can already see is on a slope, is nothing compared to um, what this railway will encounter. So it goes then, it just ends just over there. You may just be able to see, or may not be able to see, pumping station is just behind, literally just behind there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to now follow the really steep part of the railway. I think it's probably a two foot gauge. If I look at it, if I put both my feet down, I'd say it's about two foot. So um, yeah, let's let the ascent begin. I assume, I don't actually know what the trains would have looked like, but I assume there'd have been a couple of wagons pulled up and down by a winch, but from what we'll see further up, it looks like they could possibly have more than one train in operation any one time. So crossing the path we just came along, here the ascent now gets steeper, but this is still nothing, this is nothing for what it's going to become. But I wanted to show you some interesting little bits here. As we get to here, you can see there's a piece of concrete there, and just above, the concrete now the track is very obvious just there set points so what i want to know is interestingly all the points face off the track as if you're coming down there's no points going off on that side so there's no what i could see as being a passing loop so whether if a train was coming down they could say put some wagons into here to let another one go up i don't know um admittedly this video hadn't been planned i was out today discovered the railway and thought let's make a video but here we are here's a set of points clearly see the track so we're just going to walk up here a little bit i won't film 
going the whole way up because it is also the main way people walk up and down this very steep hill. So I might, I think we'll soon have quite a few people coming towards us. But let's just get to the next set of points. So there would have been another set of track here somewhere. So whether again, this was to allow another train to pass, I'm not entirely sure. You can quite clearly see the points and the track going up. So I've just come a little bit further up now. It may look on camera that what I'm sitting at is level. But if it looks like the trees above the points are leaning like that, they're not, the trees are straight. It's the tracks that's steep. And beyond here, the gradient takes an even steeper sharper turn so this is the final set of those three sets of points the other one is just down there just about where those people are but this one you can see the track runs out just after the set of points so let's have a closer look there's also there's a lever here i don't think it's a point lever. it might be actually so look so we've got this doesn't move i think that is possibly the lever for pulling the points so at the moment the rails have kind of come so they're not set for any route but these rails in the middle would have moved to allow trains when they were descending the incline either to go straight on or go into what I think is probably a siding but I might be wrong so if you know and want to comment and tell me please do but now just look at it it's just like it's just like stretching up I'd say now it's one in one it is incredibly steep so I'm going to walk carry on walking I've got to get to the top um, I'm not going to film all the way up because um, you know it's going to get quite sort of the same but um, yeah here we go my ascent and um, hard climbing really begins now well get a bit puffed out here I just want to stop here so you can really see I'm holding my camera level. You can see just how steep this little two foot gauge track is. It stretches up. I don't even think I'm halfway. I was looking back down. Interestingly, it looks like up there it's going to get even steeper, but I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Can you see how the gradient changes to go up at an even steeper incline? So I'm going to carry on climbing and um, make my way to the top of this um, rather intriguing narrow gauge railway line. I think I'm just past about halfway up. I've just stopped for a rest on a fallen tree. I'm not normally one who stops for rests. When I'm walking, I like to, you know, be on the move, but this is just so steep. It's got even steeper, as I said a moment ago. It was gonna get steeper now, look at it. I think this has got to be one of the steepest railways I've ever seen. Whether I've been on any funicular steeper than this, but this, it is steep. Um, this tree's fallen down, um, and you can see, how they've had to kind of cut cut through it in order to maintain the way. I think it is just as hard to um, come up this as it is to come down. I've passed a few people who are really struggling with getting down here. So, you know, it is steep. I know now you can't see much. You can just see the trees above me. I'm just stepping off the track to this one else get past now I'm going to give you a view up up the track try not to fall over look at that yeah I'm, I'm quite near the top now but this is um steep very very steep I'll see you at the top well I've almost made it look at that looking down I don't know how much we've come up we must have come up more than 100 feet, probably more than two or 300 feet, but I'm finally at the top. The track just ends, almost a bit disappointingly, like it should carry on and level out. But here we are, it ends here. I made it to the very last sleeper. You can just see, this must have been what the winch was attached to. And then looking back down there, that's where we've come up. You can see the gradient change here. 
I'm gonna just get, the track doesn't go the last little bit. I've just gotta get up, up these rocks so we're on level ground and I can finish the video. So if we come up here, oh here we are, nice and level. This is the woodland at the top. So this is what they built the railway for. Really quite puffed out now to bring stuff up and down to this woodland. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go and have a drink, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.